As Pangai Noon developed from Chinese boxing, the open hand is the weapon of choice and is used to both strike and grab. A strong grip can be applied to vulnerable parts of an opponent's body to pinch and to tear the flesh. The crushing pressure of a well-conditioned hand can also be used to control an opponent after he has been subdued by a blow. More flexible than the fist, the tiger-like claws are the hallmark of this school of karate and one of its most feared weapons. To develop the paralyzing grip of Pangai Noon, nigirigami, literally gripping jars, are employed. Made of heavy ceramic, with a neck constructed to fit the trainee's hands, they can be progressively filled with sand or stones as the student improves to increase their weight and therefore their conditioning effect. In the Pangai Noon system, training with nigirigami takes place in the Sanchin stance. As the body is tensioned, the jars are raised. The shoulders are pulled down into the correct position, causing the muscles in the sides to tighten, and the fingers strengthened by gripping the necks of the jars and resisting their weight. While in this position, the strength and resistance of the student is tested by striking him repeatedly. The degree of tension must be sufficient for the muscles to withstand powerful attacks without lasting effect. When the student can arrive at this physical and mental state, he is capable of closing with his opponent to fight at the range where his techniques will be most effective. 